In this video, I want to go over the count characters in your string problem on Code Wars. And what I want you to do is, the main idea is to count all the occurring characters in a string. If you have a string like ABA, so this is the example, if we zoom in. So say they pass us the string, as you can see right here, this is the input. Say the string is ABA. The result should be A is 2 because there's two A's, and then B is 1 because there's one B. Now, what if the string is empty, then the result should be an object literal, I guess just an empty dictionary or hash map. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a dictionary. In Python, it's a dictionary. In other languages, you'll probably use a hash map. They're essentially the same thing, key, uh, unordered list of key value pairs. But we're going to create a dictionary called mydict. It's going to be equal to uh, an empty dictionary. For here, we're going to iterate throughout our string. As you can see, they're going to just pass the string. We're going to iterate throughout each letter in the string. So we're just going to say for I N S T R I N G. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a get method, and I'll explain to you what it does after I type it out. But we're going to say my dict, or the key is going to be equal. So we're setting the key value pair is going to be equal to my dict dot get. We're going to get I. And if i doesn't exist, or the value of i, we're going to put 0, plus 1. Now what this is doing is, say for the, we're on the very first iteration, and a is i for this iteration. So we're going to be saying my dict of i is equal to my dict.get. If we look, there's nothing, nothing in here right now. So instead, instead of turning the value for the key i, which will be a, it's going to return 0. Then we add 1. So this is basically saying my dict a uh, is equal to 1, and it will look like uh, this a, but 1. If we ever come around to a again, it'll say my dict a is equal to my dict.get. Well, a exists in the dictionary now, so what will happen is it will return the value, which will be 1, and then add 1 to it. So it's just going to store the frequency of every single character in, our, in the string that it passes us. And at the end of this, all we have to do is return my dict, turn, or my dictionary. And this, and this should work, so let's attempt it. And yes, so all 104 test cases passed. So that was the count characters in your string problem on Code Wars. I hope that you learned something and you found this video valuable. If you did, I would appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.